we're just packing up. We've got some other tents behind those trees. So we've been quiet this morning, but we're heading into town. I just kind of come around a uh, bend and have kind of our first view of the James River down there. Beautiful view out into these valleys. But as usual, she's leaving me behind. Give me another view, a little less obstructed by trees. Pretty valley. Nothing to see. Well, the temperature doesn't make it very inviting. That was a really nice looking pool down there. Water sluicing in. It's deep, can't tell on camera, but you know, it's enough where you could sit in and have a nice bath. There's the wife going across. Is she gonna get her feet wet? We'll find out. But uh, still on the trail. Turn left here, and there's a shelter. Yeah. Oh, Ruby. Oh, that shows up up there. Ruby. Never thought I'd use them. But there you go. So we crossed the creek down there, and up on the hillside. You can see there's a privy. It was very clean inside, very nicely done. And then over here is the shelter and the picnic table. And the shelter looks pretty good. There is a sign that there's a flash flood hazard in this area. So I guess you got to pay attention to the weather. But yeah, it's pretty clean in here. Very nice. We're going to stay here for a little bit, have a snack, and then head on into town. Nice deep pool. Can't really see it. A little waterfall past those trees. Oh, I tell you what, if the weather was warmer, and maybe there wasn't a trail going by, oh, good place to skinny dip, I guess. Did I say that? Anyway. For a little bit now, we've been next to the James River. Haven't had great views of it through the trees. This is about as good as it gets. And we're about 0.9 away from bridge, and we'll cross it. I see a rail bridge up ahead. But yeah, it's been a pleasant walk. I just turned the corner on the trail, and there's that James River footbridge. I came across this nice little waterfall. Still making our way to the footbridge. This lovely lady, dressed for winter, but still ready for summer, is heading over to a footbridge, Patump Pump, dedicated to William T. Foote on the James River footbridge. And this bridge is about a thousand feet long. And it is the longest footbridge on the AT. And that's where we're headed. Want to show us how it's done? Sure. About time I caught her. The stairs seem so unnatural. They're not uneven, rocky, no roots. What's the challenge?
unfortunately there's signs that you're not supposed to jump off the bridge which is really unfortunate i had my heart set on just you know stripping down and jumping off the bridge but i guess i'm gonna have to learn to live a disappointment we just came off the bridge and there's a little trail we have to take in order to get over to the parking lot it's going to take us under the railroad trestle oh, we even have a blaze right there oh it's kind of pretty yep. and up the other side <laughs> 